Today's quantum computers use a combination of techniques to deal with noise at different stages of the computation. At the most basic level, we use techniques that transform a circuit during compilation to minimize errors. These might include introducing gates while a qubit is sitting idle, so it doesn't have time to decohere. We can also employ techniques that occur in the post-processing stage. Typically, this starts with pre-processing overhead related to model training to understand noise in the system, and classical post-processing overhead to mitigate errors in the raw results by using the generated model. In exchange for this overhead, though, we're able to get much more accurate results. However, a large-scale fault-tolerant quantum computer will require techniques that detect errors while an algorithm is running and correct for them in real time. We do this by encoding the information of one, what we call a logical qubit, across multiple physical qubits. The basic idea is that the information will be stored more reliably as we use redundant physical qubits to represent a single logical qubit. The downside of this is that a large overhead is needed, since you need more physical qubits on the chip. Although, IBM has recently developed and published a code that reduced the overhead by 90%. We also require components that can apply quantum gates on encoded qubits, and all of these components must be scalable. There's been a lot of good work experimenting with these techniques, but a lot more work is needed. Once we've demonstrated this, however, we will have achieved what we refer to as quantum computing that is fault-tolerant, that it can calculate accurately even in the presence of errors.